should be pre match press conference, but the last match of the year of the International Football Tournament between the Youth Republic and India. We've got the India head coach, Igor Shimans, and there, the Mr. Singh. Um, ask the uh, coach the first question. Uh, so, coach, uh, close your third against Myanmar, and then you saw Myanmar play after the close draw with the Youth Republic. So, what different kind of challenge do you think the Youth Republic will pose as compared to Myanmar? Yes, absolutely different type of challenge because now one round of the games are behind. We know the score and the classification and obviously Kyrgyzstan doesn't have other option than come out and win the game to stay, stay alive in this competition. And for us it's somehow different because even with the draw we, we can finish first and win the tournament and obviously we're not going to go out looking for a draw. Mm -hmm. We're going to come out and try to win the game with a good mindset, with a positive attitude. And you could clearly see that uh, I was right when I was mentioning me in Myanmar as a really serious side, organized side, who can hurt you if you don't approach the game in a good way. So, then, Getting good result against Kyrgyzstan brings much more, uh, much more credit to our first game, which we won, which should have been with more difference, and credit to all the boys who were there winning that game. Uh, defensively, I was very happy about the performance of the team. We didn't allow Myanmar to hurt us. I think the only clear chance came out of Sunil's header. Uh, and few other situations, half chances. I mean, that was having top reactions, and he, he saved, eliminating any danger coming at us in these situations. So it would be a totally different team out, as you know. All the players involved in the ICL finals uh, will be there. So much stronger team, I would say. Uh, first session of players. Also, but this first echelon of players is 15, 16 names, so don't get me wrong. We also invited uh, Sahal and Osama to, to join the team because we have a couple of players with certain problems and injuries. So Sahal will provide uh, another option for us if needed. Uh, I'm really uh, you played in five different such a good crew, it's a good sales. And with the moment, talk us about your personal experience. Uh, of course, uh, I play, I think, a long time with the national team and uh, whenever I get a ch uh, chance and I try to do my best and, you know, in every camp I part of this team and coach give me so much confidence to do my things and what I can do on the pitch, outside the pitch and uh, for me it's most important to, I work hard in training, rest well and sleep well eat good and of course I'm happy with my performance but uh, uh, if I see in my way I need to work more hard and do my best. Uh, I will take the answer questions. Coach, uh, you if we spoke about it but uh, I wanted to maybe uh, elaborate a little. Uh, you have the best players coming in. Kirkish Republic doesn't really have anything to lose. You are ahead on the points table, so there is more for you on, at the stake. What is going to be your approach with your best players coming in? Uh, you know, I know you cannot reveal the tactics, but what is going to be your approach in the game? Approach will be to go out and win the game. So we are playing at home, we are going to have a full house, our supporters behind us, uh, so we don't have other options that come out and try to win the game, put even more pressure on Kyrgyzstan team. We know that they are at the moment better ranked team, that they have maybe more quality in their side, but we have a chance to prove to prove ourselves there, you know. So that's what we are gonna come out and try to do. And just an extension to the question. You have had more great sessions now with the uh, Let's say the players also played in the final. So, what do you think of it? Uh, have you had enough time to get your message filled into the team? And are you in all readiness? Listen, there are all the players who are with us here from the very beginning. Uh, 
so they know what I'm expecting of them, what kind of a work we provide to them. Uh, we had four days to, to refresh them from ISL finals. Uh, they are now refreshed, they have uh, good motivation, they are in positive mood, uh, no problems besides Manvir Singh. And I'm very optimistic about this game, you know, so I'm very confident about it. Obviously, not having few players here for various reasons of injury, it's never, never something which makes one coach happy. But I would be happy if, let's say, Ashik Kulunian is here with us, who would give us another option uh, forward. But he's not here. We have other boys who will do the job for him. <coughs> Considering that India and Pakistan go back a long way in terms of uh, football combinations, country speaking. So, how do you uh, look at that? Because India has a good record against them, favorable one. So, how does it count here? Yeah, you know, preparing the game, I never look at the history of the countries who are to play against each other. You know, it's important what's, what's here now today not what happened in the past and that's how I see it. We could see clearly that Kyrgyzstan was trying really hard against Myanmar. You know, the, the pitch didn't allow them to express their quality because it's really difficult to make few consecutive passes on, on such a pitch. And Myanmar had much more space for counter-attacking and they were really good at doing so. so it's not easy for the teams which are favorite here to attack, to press, to insist on ball possession football, you know, on, on such, uh, on such uh, infrastructure you, you better intend to, to go with the long balls, to trespass these middle lines where, and areas where players are compact and where there is many bodies there, it's much easier to lose the ball there and put your team in danger, so anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna try to do our best, you know. Anyway, we are very happy to be here. I need to mention that once again because everything what our hosts provided to us is magnificent, you know, from the people in the hotel, from everyone here working very hard at the ground to provide the best possible conditions for us. And I use this chance to appreciate the Chief Minister and all his person who made this turn possible for us and for the football house. This is a really important step in the future work of the national team. And thanks to all. Uh, coach, uh, do you uh, do you see these matches uh, in these tournaments uh, individually for preparation towards the bigger competitions, or do you think there's something special about winning the silver and uh, particular? Everything is special in football. Each game, each minute, each second. I think the most special things are for the players who are involved, who are the part of this of this wonderful tournament, you know. But uh, this doesn't mean a lot because. The biggest things are coming for them from September, I would say. You know, prior to that, we're going to have few, few games, few competitions. But the most serious work starts from September. This will be the proper preparation uh, in regards to everything, in regards to the AFC Asian Cup. And it's, a, it's a long period of months in front of us. You know, the boys need to take care of their food. They need to take care of their rest, of their training, or they their commitment to the club level, their performance and everything, and that will define. I'm not the one who is making decisions, you know, they are making decisions. And they are deciding upon if they're going to be here with national team or not. It's up to them. I'm here just to, to justify their performances and to send invitations to the best ones in regards to what I think is needed for the national team. Which, uh, just what you told us now, that it's a long time uh, for the Asian Cup to come up and uh, the real, uh, uh, real liberation will start in September. So, uh, will there be a fact or uh, any kind of uh, instruction from your side to reserve the players? Because obviously within the tournament there will be a lot of injuries. And we will be, will you be, will you be, will you be no, that? nothing at all. In regards to that, I can only mention one thing. I, I'm not happy with a couple of players uh, uh, going through injuries and facing serious problems because they are getting injections, painkillers in the clubs. 
sacrificing their health, health for one game. And that's something I suggest strongly not to be done in the future, in the next nine months. Because one game can be costly and missing one game will change nothing. Uh, might to be very costly for them, you know. So these are the, this, this is the only suggestion. Apart from that, they all need to be playing as many games as possible. They need to be performing at a high level, always thinking that they are representing India, that they are part of the national team. They need to behave well in their clubs, they need to listen to their coaches and fulfill their obligations. And that's all I'm looking for, to be honest. I never put myself in a position as a coach to put any player with any kind of problem onto the pitch to play the game. No, because fit player is always better, even if it's 50% uh, of the quality of the one who's facing a small problem, he will do a better job on the pitch than the one we think is better than him. So, it, that's, a, that's a wrong approach to, to looking at the things. I, I will never sacrifice players' health for any result. I have a question for Amrindal. Amrindal, uh, we have been uh, there in playing the top clubs for quite some time. So, you had a bad patch for some time in Mumbai, and then you came back very strongly with the new team. So, uh, I would like to know how you can prepare yourself, uh, how you can get about that uh, situation. Uh, personally, I don't think it's something bad or something. I play all the games and we reach in semi finals, and uh, I did my best, and I think. We keep seven or six or seven clean sheet, and I make more than 50 saves. I don't see it's a bad season, but of course it's my decision and club decision to leave that uh, team. And then I see to join Odisha. So, is for as a player, I see always uh, anything can happen. And for me, most important to work hard every day and uh, restart and do my best in every game, every training session. And you have a good record with the national team. Don't forget to mention that. Under me, you played three games, you have two wins and one draw against good sides. You know, he was playing against Thailand. This was the first game we won. And then you played against, against uh, uh, Oman in Emirates, which we drew 1 1, and you had a fantastic game. And now you play against Myanmar, we won the game again. So, I'm very confident about Amrinder and his position in the team and not performance in ISL from other goalkeepers will change that. He's my number two still at the moment and will be like that, you know. And he had very consistent season, although Orisha didn't, uh, didn't go further on in the, in the playoffs. But if you look at the rest goalkeepers, you can see that uh, uh, some of them had terrible start of the season with many mistakes and oscillations and then perfect finish of the season. He was continuous throughout all the season, not making silly mistakes, doing good on crosses, making wonderful saves at the points that he needs the, the goalkeeper. That's what I expect from the goalkeeper. For me, goalkeeper needs to have continuity. Three months of brilliance will not change my mind about someone. I'm looking two, three years back in regards to the goalkeepers. And that's what it happens. Uh, in the first match, we saw a number of Manipuri players, and then we still didn't have a best team. So tomorrow, on the basis of quality, and uh, like you praised Mahesh a lot after the first match. So do we expect some more Manipuri players on the basis on merit to be in the team tomorrow? Yes, of course, of course. Listen, uh, I always plan. Uh, uh, everything in regards to the muscle soreness, in regards to the freshness, in regards to the opponents, many subjects are there. I, I'm not, I cannot create team in regards who is from Manipur, who is from uh, West Bengal or, or what. <laughs> That's, I'm looking forward to put the best available players at that certain point to win the game, which is in front of us. And that's how it works. All our Manipuri boys are a very important part of our team. Very important part, you know. But who will start the game tomorrow, we'll see.
if you have any more questions. Just the last thing, who is not available? Is, is it only one or is We still not share about one. I think we'll see today's training session and how the treatments uh, are progressing about his injury, but if there is any doubt, I will not risk it at all. It will be out of this. Is it an old injury? Yeah, it's been going on for 